Currently, there are three North York schools in the Toronto Catholic District School Board that have cancelled classes. Some parents of students who attend St. Fidelis say they are fearful of sending their kids back to the school with 15 active COVID cases related to the building. Some teachers are troubled too, saying the province needs to do better before things get much worse. Is she going to get COVID? Is she going to get sick? How is this going to have an effect on her today? tomorrow and in the future. This parent's sixth grader attends St. Fidelis. She's been home all week learning on Google Classroom because school was dismissed this past Tuesday. There are currently 10 active cases in students and five in staff members. Ariana Zapiri suffers with anxiety. This situation is making it worse. Her mother calls the steps taken once classes were called off confusing and frustrating. You know, as a family, we were given an outbreak number and said, go to the hospitals, go get your child tested, and this will be moved up to the front of the line. When we went there to go get our child tested and gave them this number, the, the doctors didn't even know what it was. They're like, what is this? So I wish the policy and procedures were more um, transparent to everyone. Teachers at the school are also upset. They have so many questions and yet no answers. We are cleaning cohorting, separating, everything above and beyond. My, my principal had lines painted so the kids don't cross in the back. It's still coming into the school and in large numbers, so I'm not sure what the answer is. Classes are cancelled at two other nearby North York schools as well. St. John the Evangelist has three active student cases. St. Robert has five, three in students and two in staff. The union president of the Toronto Elementary Catholic Teachers blames big classroom sizes for the outbreaks, making physical distancing challenging. I think it would be a very good idea if there was just a pause um, and that they were dismissed just until we see the cases decrease. We reached out to the Education Minister's office. They say Toronto Public Health is working closely with the Toronto Catholic District School Board to monitor the cases at all affected schools. Further adding in part, they've taken additional action by investing more funding in higher risk regions, introducing targeted voluntary asymptomatic testing of students and staff, in addition to ensuring all students on their first day back in January are provided with a comprehensive refresher on COVID-19 protocols. The parent we spoke with says she isn't quite sure if she will be letting her daughter return to the school once it allows staff and students back inside. The teachers union says they prefer doing online learning once cases in the city subside. Outside of St. Fidelis in North York, Malia Sheikh, City News.